Hey guys, One Piece Nation here today to bring you a One Piece discussion video where I want to talk about did Luffy succeed in saving Ace? Now I know you're probably thinking, of course Luffy failed, Ace is dead, but could you really call it a failure? That's what this discussion is about. Did Luffy achieve his goal during the Marine Ford War arc, during the War of the Best? Did he achieve his goal and was it just someone else being retarded that that made Ace die. Well, we're gonna talk about it. Luffy's original goal was to save Ace and free him. Luffy stopped Ace from being executed and freed him from his handcuffs. They even fought the Marines together. Ace even had a little fight with Aokiji. The real question here is it is it Luffy's fault Ace died? Well, not really. It's Ace's fault because Ace was stupid. Ace and Luffy defeated countless marines, and along with the West of the Whitebeard Pirate, were going to escape from the battlefield, while Whitebeard stayed behind. However, however, Akainu showed up and started talking a lot of shit about Whitebeard. He started mocking Whitebeard like hell. Now, the smart thing to do, and the right thing to do, considering how many people put their lives on the line and died so Ace would be saved, would have been to turn around and keep running and ignore Akainu. But Ace did not do that. Ace decided nobody should be able to badmouth Whitebeard, and Ace turned around and chose to fight the future fleet admiral, the Red Dog, Akainu. Ace starts walk, walking towards Akainu, and everybody, Marco and Luffy, all tell him they need to run. Luffy doesn't tell people to run away from the fight. He has only done that with his own crew one time, and this time. Luffy doesn't run away. Luffy was telling Ace, we need to run. Ace ignored everybody. Ace ignored the people that put their lives on the line for him, so he could... Stop Akainu from bad mouthing Whitebeard. Ace didn't care, alright? Ace kept on walking and pit the fight with Akainu. Ace lost the fight and ended up taking a blow to protect Luffy. But the real question here is what would have happened if Ace kept walking and had ignored Akainu like any smart person? Well, he would not have died, that's for sure. Think about it. They would have run away, gotten on the ship, and left. It would have been fine. Ace would have survived. So the real question here is, who is to blame? Luffy or Ace? And I say the one to blame is Ace. Luffy did everything. If Ace had not turned around and started fighting Akainu, he would have lived. The one to blame is 100% Ace. Now, in the end, it's not Ace's fault, it's not Luffy's fault, it's Oda. Oda was the one that chose to write it in the way that Ace would die. Ace needed to die for story purposes to help motivate Luffy to train and for the time get to happen. Alright, that is fact. That needed to happen. So, there is, so from an in, from an in universe perspective, yes, it was Ace. From an out, outside of the universe perspective, it's writing. That's all it is, it's writing. But, what I want to say now is it was still an epic moment. Ace turned around and fired his fire fist at Akainu, and he's like, you know, don't mock Whitebeard, this is his era. That was all so awesome. Even though it was stupid, it was still awesome, and how he took that fatal blow to protect his little brother. It was all amazing. His, his death, his words before he died was amazing. But guys, please tell me your thoughts in the comment section down below. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. This is One Piece Nation, signing out. Have a great day, guys.